Guess what? I'm back at my daughter's again. I hippity hop right back over here to do another hop Easter display. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of hippity hopping. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Anyways, today's table is slightly different than, well, it's still an Easter theme. It's Easter theme. It's different. So you got to stay tuned because it's different, okay? We did use a couple things in the same. We used the same um, teapot and salt and pepper shaker. And sugar and creamer. And sugar and creamer and the cups. Everything else is new and different. Yes. So we'll get started at the far corner of the table. And we're going in the front with our... Um, table uh, wear and let's go ahead and remove this so you can see now we did have these same chargers oh I forgot we did have the same chargers. in this preview in the previous one but that's okay because it goes well with everything we're doing that's why I bought a lot of white and when I bought these uh, chargers I like them so well I even bought a blue set too and it even though it's it's gold it kind of looks like brown next to this um, it could almost Easter look 10. like a brass also. Yeah, so it can go either way. Now this is a bunny plate we did not have in our last. Um, because I love home goods and all these bunny plates all came from home goods. And, and I they're just love all the little flowers fine. in her hair. Yes, I Aww. love it. <laughs> and I've used these like for three years and I'm still using them and I still love them. Yeah, they're super cute. And then I needed some contrast before I put the next plate on, and I didn't have any cream color, so I just happen to have these, I don't know, like melamine, not melamine, I don't know. Like a is. plastic. Yeah, but I like them because it's, they're very versatile, and I like the trim of them. Yeah, they're really, really pretty trim, and the, everything's working together, I think, yeah, well. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So then my next one is my little bunny plates, and you say, I've seen these bunny plates, and I'm like, yes, you've seen something similar, but it's not exactly the same. They're a little different. They're a little different, different coloring, and so I thought those looked really cute. And um, you'll have to go back and check both videos out to make sure we didn't lie. Yes. Okay, so now... Um, the other difference is the napkins, and I've got these pink and white gingham, um, which match with the placemat, and those, again, came from the 99 cent store. And look at how adorable these little bunny ear um, napkin rings are. And I don't think we saw in the last video um, how well these are put together. They're beaded all the way around. Aren't they pretty? So these are the, I have a set of, um, not a set, I have a blue one, a green one, a yellow one, and a pink one. Or not pink, orange. Okay. Pink, orange. I don't know. Now I'm getting confused. But, so there you go. And uh, we used, of course, our silverware. And let's see, this is not quite done perfectly. Crazy me. And we got our little uh, carrots we had last time. Mm -hmm. And of course our same dinnerware, glassware, and cups. Now we're going on to Debbie's uh, wonderful DIY projects. <laughs> so I made some um, faux cupcakes. And the little ears are made out of clay. And the faux whip is made out of spackle. And then I have, um, I bought those jelly beans from a lady on Etsy. And then I just finished it off with some glitter. So cute. And then I made those little cookies also out of clay on um, Model Magic. And I used a mold for that. And my egg hunt one didn't come out that great, but I was like, what the heck? We'll just leave it like that. It's okay. It'll get better next year. Yeah. But I'm going to make, um, I have a DIY for this, for those two items. So um, I'll be posting in a couple days. So make sure you go check out the new channel, guys. Remember, the quicker that channel grows and all of you move over there, the quicker all of it will be there from then on. Yeah, so every DIY that I am putting in the table skates, I'm going to be posting it on the new channel. So if you want to see how I made these items, you got to go over there and, and watch it. And I don't know if you can see. When you see them in person, there's a lot of glitter. They just aren't photographing as quite as pretty as they are. 
Yeah, you can see there's a lot of glitter on there. It's yeah. pretty. But it's a pink glitter, so it really pops, pops more. Yeah. yeah. I think the colored glitter, I think you need to use more. Yeah. And moving over here to the teapot, we used that in the last post. And uh, these are the salt and pepper shakers, and we both agree they go really nice together. Yeah, and the salt and pepper shakers are the McKinsey Child, and the, this one is the Pioneer Woman, and this came from Walmart. Um, and my mom was going to purchase it. We must have the same taste because she, when I told her that I got it, she goes, Oh, good. Now I don't have to spend my money for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. if I would have known you wanted it, I would have waited for you to buy it. <laughs> okay, now the centerpiece I made, and we have used it in the past post, but we add a new little twist, like we always say. We always add a little new update on it, and since the last time, we have now or put in these carrots that she did, and how she did it is already up on the new channel. Yes, I uploaded that last night, um, so if you haven't already seen it, go and check it out. Um, shows you step by step how to do it and it's pretty easy. This was supposed to be a project for both my mom and myself but the little thing that I got from her is I don't want to use a hot glue gun. <laughs> okay I will say that I did watch the whole video already and when I saw her do it I really think I could do it now. Oh yeah now now that I've completed them all. <laughs> well I think what I'm going to do I'm going to try to see if I can find the unicorn horns and buy maybe four or five that way we can use them next year and I'm going to look for this type of yarn in orange. So next year we can reuse what we already have and we can have a new project and we can show that. Yeah I and really want to use some orange because I think it's real pretty too. And, and then we will see Grandma actually doing a DIY. Wow, you guys better come back next year. Yeah. Because I'm going to keep her to her word. She says she's going to do it. And I'm going to do a pair of them. Wow, two. Wow, not just one, but two. Okay. Well, I mean, you got you got quite a few. And if I do two, that's going to look great. Mm -hmm. Might even do three because I sort of like the other one. Go get the other one. Let them see what you did on that other one over there. I loved how this one turned out with the two different you know colors yeah I wanted to do it with just that twine but it just wasn't full enough mm -hmm. and uh, so just it didn't look right so that's when I thought well maybe if I use the yellow as the base and then add the twine I think, look it, okay. I think it looks nice and maybe we might even have to get a different color of twine left to see if we get enough contrast between the orange yarn and that mm -hmm. But anyway, well, that's... We have plenty of time to look for that stuff. Yeah, because we're already planning next year's uh, plans. So like I said, uh, this here is um, I, something I already made. The only thing we added different, it's already been filmed a couple times already, is we added the carrots because we believe in repurposing, adding something on to make something look a little different because we like to make sure we get our money's worth. Now this was super cute and we put the candy in underneath the bunny, the bunny on top. And you want to talk about the enclosure? Oh, the, the cloche is, um, it's part of another, um, the base is different. So we didn't want the, the rabbit to be so high. We wanted him to sit lower to the table. So I just took a simple dish and we put the cloche on top and it worked out perfect because that dish is the perfect size for the cloche to, to sit on. So I think it turned out good like that. Yeah. And then um, I have my little bunny rabbits that I got on the Target dollar spot. Um, they look like they're wood, but they're not. They're, I don't know what they are, some kind of material. But I thought they would look, <laughs> the, well, I don't know what they are, but, <laughs> uh, but I thought they would look cute there. And then mom threw some extra carrots on to, I love carrots. she loves the carrots. And I got those carrots, the big ones and the little small ones that are um, at the plates um, from someone on Facebook Marketplace. Now, we didn't mention this in the last video, so we'll mention it now. This beautiful plant running down the center of the table. Where did you get that, Ben? The 99 cents store. Doesn't that sound great? See, you can find really nice quality items if you look around. I remember I bought what you paid for it? Uh, it was either $1.99 or $2.99. That's not bad. It's pretty long. This is one piece. Yeah, and it's amazing how, I mean, there's there's a lot of cheapy looking stuff, but I've been, been fortunate to find some really good um, quality plants. 
or hey, flowers. So. I have actually found things that the uh, Dollar Tree that are just as nice or nicer than some of the stuff in the more high end stores. But it's hot, it's hit and miss there. Mm -hmm. And then um, behind there is my Happy Easter sign. I um, made that using a napkin. I just um, decoupaged it on that um, little easel. And it turned out so cute. Just love that one. And uh, here's where we did some of those purple flowers at. Can you see them? <laughs> They're scattered all about the bunny. A carrot and add the little rag, carrots and the little... And those little carrots I made with uh, model magic and a, a mold. Aren't they cute? So that'll be included in the other um, video I'm going to be putting up with the um, cupcakes and the and the cookies. So don't forget, right now, on every single one of the DIY videos, how she does these projects are already going to be going up on the new channel. So if you are a DIYer or you want to see how she does it, Get over there and sign up and start going and watching, guys. Yeah, my plan is um, every time we um, post a video um, like this, um, the day or two later, the DIY um, will uh, be posted on the new page. So you don't want to miss any DIYs because you want to be able to, re to create your own. So don't yeah. forget to go over there. And this is one of my favorite bunnies she's bought and found. Look at those ears. They're so cute. Yes. I love it. So that one, he's gonna stay. He's gonna stay out all year. He's my, an all year one, huh? Yep. He's gonna stay out all year in my room. He's so pretty. Yes, I love him. Is he going in the bedroom or the spare bedroom? In the in the spare bedroom. Okay. Because he's got the the pattern on the ears. That's I love that. So so pretty. Yeah. And then the sugar and creamer was there from the previous um, post and. Um, again, I just put a little bow on the side just to kind of jazz know, it up a little give it a little bit of femininity Of course, so I hope you guys like this table this I'm calling this one my blue rabbit table oh, Really? You well, know what you didn't like my title the hopping video. Or oh, you... yeah, she did have that Well, we'll decide which what's the name? <laughs> I gotta go check out what everyone's using for Easter and try to find <laughs> something that sounds cute. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys came over and uh, saw what we had to offer. And I hope you give us a thumbs up if you like what we did. And please leave us a comment on what was your favorite or what you think we should have changed to make it better. And don't forget to go to the new channel, Blossom Your Creativity. And sign up so you know when we post new content. And the quicker you guys all get over there, the quicker you're not going to have to come here. Except if you love D, uh, what is it? Uh, pantry prepping or prepping the pantry or. And saving money. Shopping hauls. And she, her, this channel is the potpourri channel. The new channel is the DIY home decor and tablescape channel. That's so it. if you want that kind of content, please get over to the new channel so we can start putting everything over there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it'd be much easier if we just had one place to put it all instead of going between two channels. Yes. And it'd be easier for you to find it. Right. Well, bye-bye for now. Hugs and kisses to all our awesome friends. Bye. Bye-bye.